Let's make Pete the cat. Are you ready? Take a cardboard tube and measure its length. This one is about 9.6 centimeters. So now I know the length of the cardboard tube. I'm going to make a template that I'm going to use for the body of the cat. The width is 9.6 centimeters, which I measured before. And I'm going to use a length of around 15 centimeters. This should be perfectly adequate to wrap this yellow card around the body of the tube to make, of course, the body of the actual cat. So once these lines are drawn, I can go ahead, grab a pair of scissors, and then just cut along the lines there, like this, cutting on the length and then cutting along the width side. And then this is going to give me the card I need for the body of the cat. There it is. So put some glue along the cardboard tube and then take that yellow card that's been cut out before and then stick this along the cardboard tube and then once that is firmly stuck down, wrap it around the cardboard tube as so. The best thing to do is to use some tape. Put the tape at the top and not at the bottom. You'll see why later. Now find an average size paper cup and measure its diameter. This one is about 8.6 centimeters. Between eight to nine centimeters is perfect. And then simply draw around the paper cup on some blue paper or blue card. And this is gonna give us the template for the face of the cat. Now using this template, I'm gonna cut around the pencil line and cut very carefully and then this is going to give me this blue circle which I can now get ready to go and stick onto the body. So put some glue on the body and then stick on the blue circle so we now have the cat's body and a cat's face. Hello, how are you today? So now taking two googly eyes and these ones have got a sticky back, so take the peeling off. Use some double-sided sticky tape if it doesn't have that. And then just stick it onto the blue circle, which is the face, and put them in a kind of even location so that the face is gonna look nice and natural. So put my second eye on here, and now I've got my two eyes for this lovely face. Next thing, I need some ears. So take some blue paper or card that is the same color and just draw out a template for the ears. You can make them any shape or size you want. Try and draw them so they are similar sizes and similar shapes. And then go ahead and cut out those ears. Once this is done, we're going to go ahead and stick them onto the face. Put some glue along the bottom. Put lots of glue on there so it's good and sticky and then just stick it onto the back. Choose a location that you think is gonna make the ears look kind of natural looking. And I'm gonna stick the other one on here. Try and keep it uh, symmetrical with the other ear. And then that's it. Now I have my eyes, ears, and face. Next, we're gonna make a nose. Take some white paper or card and just simply draw out a nose shape, similar like this one here. Once that is done, I can go ahead and cut this one out, take my scissors, and try and cut along the edge of the black line. So you've got a kind of outline to the nose once it's stuck on. Put some glue on the back, and then simply push it into place. Preferably around the middle, the middle of the circle, will make it look nice and natural. The next step is to make some whiskers. Take some black card and measure out six centimeters. And then just draw a line. Draw a line along the six centimeter width like this. You can draw it out around 10 centimeters and then simply go ahead and cut out this piece of black card and then just cut out some strips for the whiskers. 
You can make them very thin or very thick. I like them to be quite thick. And I've cut out six strips of black paper here. Put some glue onto the back and then simply stick on the whiskers onto the face. Stick on three whiskers on the right hand side of the face. Put them into place wherever you like. And there we go, I have three on the right hand side. And now I'm going to go ahead and put another three on the left hand side. Try and keep them balanced and equal on both sides. So now I want to go ahead and draw a tail. So just take a piece of blue paper or card that is the same color and just draw out a shape similar like the one that I'm drawing here. You can make it any shape or size you want, small or big. Something like this will be perfect. And then just cut around the pencil line, cut all the way around until you have all of the tail ready to stick onto the body. Now remember that tape, we put that tape at the top, so there should be a gap in the bottom of the yellow card, on the bottom there. Push that into that gap and then simply use a small piece of tape to keep it held into place. So now we have a very 3D looking cat. Next, prepare some small pieces of colored paper or card and we're gonna use these to draw some buttons. Just simply hand draw a circle using a black pen. Put some dots on the inside so it looks like a button. And then go ahead and cut out this button. Cutting along the edge of the black line like this. And then with this button, put some glue on the back and simply stick this button onto the body of the cat. First one is a pink button. Looking nice. Ooh. Of course, these are the groovy buttons. So I'm gonna cut out one more groovy button. This time I have a green button, pink and green. Looking really good. And then one more. This time it's blue. It's actually the same uh, color as the face. And that's it. I actually now have all of my buttons for the body. And the last thing you can do is go ahead and put some facial decorations or makeup, if you like. So I'm gonna draw in some eyelashes just above the eyes. And I'm also gonna go ahead and put some uh, black line along the ears on the inside, just to make the ears look a bit more interesting and realistic. So now we have our finished product. It's time to see if it gets the approval of my cat. Oh, no. I don't think she was very impressed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you were able to make a really good looking Pete the Cat. See you again soon. Bye bye.